welcome 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 to the boxing bookie we are back we are back it's good to be back got a good one for you today uh we're gonna get into connor wallace and jerome Pamp- pamplion I'm, I'm gonna try to get that right this is on the undercard of the nikita zoo fight interesting fight with really really even odds uh before we get into that please like share and subscribe follow 3d boxing 3d boxing blog or all forms of social media the boxing bookie uh, Congrats to every single major fight, showing how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the little ticker below. Uh, join the Patreon. It's five bucks a month. It gets you the lock of the week. It gets you all the updated perks. It gets you all the updated props. It gets you asked to book you anything. You can request a fight, request a video. I'll break it down for you. I'll show you how to make money on any single, any single fight. It is literally the best gambling, ad- boxing gambling advice in the world. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Um, all right. Also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Connor Wallace, tall, southpaw, long, rangy, throws straight shots, wants to be at range. Good volume. Uh, but he's easy to counter. You know, he telegraphs his punches a little bit, and he's uh, – he's, He shows his shots. If you see it, he really, really shows his punches. He's easy to counter. He he throws in combinations. He he throws combinations. Uh, He he sits down on his punches. He delivers them, but he's really easy to counter. He's straight up and down. He's slow and plodding on his feet. Like, he just comes straight in after you, trying to back you up. It's not going to work against good athletes or high-level fighters. Uh, a little bit sloppy. He leads with his face. It's good off the front foot offensively, but defensively he's wide open to be countered. He's tagged. He's he's easy to hit. He's a rhythm fighter. He, he gets cooking offensively. Uh, and, and if he can, he's got this little rat-a-tat rhythm to him when he gets cooking. You don't want to let him get that way. You got to disrupt him. You got to disturb You got to disturb his rhythm. If he can do that, he, he's he's real easy. Uh, quick sneaky jab. I, I like his jab. He, he, it's 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 a sneaky little jab that he, he puts out there and he can use it to score. He stays on you. He stays in front of you. He's good at that. He's good. On, he's good on being on top of you. Um, he needs to stay composed. When he stays composed, I said he gets in that little rhythm. Otherwise, he gets sloppy. He gets he gets messy. He, he's got flaws when he opens up and, and gets wild. Stay composed. Stay stay within yourself. Um, he's sharp with the right hand. I really like the, the the right hand. He's a good stalker with length and pretty good power and a slippery jab. It's the best that I can describe it. That That's Connor Wallace, uh, who's a little bit slow and, and plodding on his feet. Pamplion. Again, straight up and down. Nice jab. He's got a really, really good jab. He picks up shots well. He will stand in and box. This fight is going to take place in the center of the ring. Uh it's going to be a battle of the jabs a lot, which I, I think Pamplion wins. And then Connor is going to try to press. He's going to try to walk him down. I think Pamplion is going to stay in. He's a really good counter puncher, like I said. Uh, Connor Wallace is easy to counter. The quick, the, the right, uh, the right hand, uh, Pamplion is, is is quick with it. It's 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 straight right hand. He throws it. He counters with it. He's sharp and quick with it. He's got a nice long jab, and he's got a nice lead left hook, too. The problem with him is his head is on the line, and he's not difficult to hit either if you can get his timing down. A good counter puncher, but he stays in front of you, head on the line. He's far too stationary at times. For a guy that's got some athleticism, he's far too stationary. Um, like I said, this fight's going to take, take place in the counter in the center of the ring, and both guys are in front of you and easy to hit. So it's, it's going to be an entertaining fight. Nice jab, nice jab, nice dip jab, and he has some explosiveness off, off that jab as well. Um, he's more defensively responsible. He keeps his hands up. He picks off shots. He can catch and shoot. He's a more fundamentally sound fighter. Decent power, decent explosiveness. He's got four first round KOs in his last six fights, so he's got some power. He's got some explosiveness. He can he can strike quickly. Um, 
Let's take a look at the odds. Let's see how we're going to make All right, so this is hard to find a book on. I got two books on FanDuel and Betway. So FanDuel has the better odds, so let's use that. FanDuel, not much different, minus 106 and minus 110 for Pampleon to win. I do like Pampleon to win. I like him by decision. I think he's got more paths to victory. I think he's more fundamentally sound. I think he can win the battle of the jabs. I just think he's he, he's got more paths to victory here, and he, he's the better pure boxer of the two. So I'm going to take him. I think the power, I think a lot of things are comparable. I think Pamplona can beat him to the punch. I think he's more explosive. So minus 106, I would make this a straight bet, normal bet, one times bet. So in this case, we're going to be looking at a $100 bet. $100 bet at minus 106 would make you 94.34. Um, these odds have been moving quite a bit, but that's what I like. I like Pamplona on the money line. He's minus 106. $100 bet makes you 94 $95. Almost. Um, and I like the fight to go the distance. We have no props on it. I don't think they'll drop those props on it. But if you, if they do, hop on over to the Patreon files a month. I'll show you how to make money on that. I, I definitely like this fight to go the distance as well. Uh, so I like Pamplion on the money line for this. Pamplion on the money line. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing. 3D Boxing Blogger. All forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Uh, it is August 27th, uh, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.